get things straight right from the start, I am not going to do another revolution call. I am not about jumping on the bandwagon to the next battlefield to fight alongside me or Dave to eat their own bunk until their bellies are full and then fling it at the walls until they're bored. I am not going to do another revolution call. I do not want to be crowded into this herd of sheeple bleating the word like a man truck, feeding the word, the concept into the ground, the world into submission. I am not going to do another revolution call. I do not want to be grouped with the latest wave of revolutionaries who don't even know why they're fighting, don't even know who came before them, don't even know what poem they're sampling. I am not going to do another revolution call. The revolution has been televised and commercialized and popularized. The revolution has been pasteurized, homogenized, immunized, and otherwise sterilized. The revolution has been plagiarized and monopolized and standardized. The revolution has been philosophized and bastardized and demonized. The revolution has been canceled due to lack of enrollment. The revolution has been, has been, has been, it has been. Where have you been, man? I'm not going to do another revolution poem because I do not want to be part of another revolution. I do not want to be treated like an animal left lurking in the window watching pigs cavort with humans not being able to tell between them. I do not want to be part of another movement that only serves to bring me right back to where I started. See, we evolved into systems that weren't working, so we changed them into systems that weren't working, so we revolted from placing them into systems that weren't working, so we developed them into systems that weren't working. It spins me so dizzy. I'm sick to my stomach, sick of the democracies and of aristocracies full of fallacies, hypocrisy, sick of the next feudalism, capitalism, communism, socialism, schism to come around. Sick of the sickness not inherent in the system, but in the people using them. The systems are flawed, the people are flawed, are filled with self-serving materialistic ideals that just aren't working. We don't need another movement for revolution. We need to move and be move to real change that starts with within each and every single one of us and I'm starting with you. Awesome. Thank you Mr. Jay Walker. What you got for us Mr. Christian? <clears throat> he was thinking it's so cold my hands are freezing like there's no blood there like the blood knows there's no reason a fact as wise and old as this this whole cold season please won't someone freeze me he said seizuring on the floor of his home's back seat even dizzily Shifting between a sheet and wishing between shiverings From a broken car on a foreign star's promises and mysteries Dealing confessions like report cards and memories like wizardry The words were all he had, the very last trick of this thing It was a miracle he was breathing, let alone speaking lyrically Police were his constant enemy, leaving him with emptiness and misery Penniless and dinner be a thought not thought of recently Trying to look decently with nothing clean or wrinkle free but that night he dreamed of ordering anything that he could eat. And when they saw him walk to church, it was full of empty seats, empty hearts and donors, heavy doors locked in the Jesus feet. Miserable, cynical, so much he'd take the polls, anything to make his criminal mind think just a little more minimal. Forming clouds that would cloud that mind high and in the cold, so he could get to sleep without the pills, yeah, he's pitiful. <laughs>
pretend that simple eyesight brings us beauty life. When all we need to do is grip the heavy sword and cut the fear away. Fight the lies built in temptation, conquer our own misgiven pain. To rebuild the inner sanctuary we have earned by trusting truth alone. So waterfalls appear into our tortured souls. They come in forms we imagine not and bathe us with their cooling waters and bring us peace of mind in temporary moments which are hard to find. All must be, all must see. Spirit, vision, beautiful. Outward look is beautiful, beautiful are we. It all started when Cain killed Abel. It all started when one person thought there wasn't enough room for everyone in the world, when the world was as large as now, and the population was just barely in double digits. It all started when the Tower of Babel fell. It all started when the peoples were separated, languages encrypted, distances enlarged, seeds of misunderstanding sowed. It all started when Kronos hates the gods, jealous and distrustful of his own children, the last who sat heavy as a stone. It all started when that deception was complete. The stone revealed, the father castrated and banished, the dictator in the heavens replaced by just another dictator. It all started when Paris turned to Helen, mooning over wooing, winning someone else's prize. It all started when bitter rivalry turned into com competition and bribery. It all started when first light, first sight love turned into infidelity, coupled turned into war. It all started when Jesus died, it all started when preaching love was seen as an insult, as a spectacle, as a threat. It all started when prophet became God, became martyr, became myth to end all myths. It all started when legend and prophecy became fact and ancient spirituality became fiction. It all started when Caesar ruled the known world, when Charlemagne ruled the known world, when Napoleon ruled the known world, when we discovered that what was the known world depended on who you talk to. It all started when the explorers explored, when Columbus discovered what others had already claimed for centuries. When conquering the less advanced became an act of heroism. When stealing and butchering became acts of patriotism and nobility. It all started when pigments became barriers and excuses for inhumane conditions, treatment, and views. It all started when a king denied his people and took their money. When the shot heard round the world first rang for what was supposed to be freedom that never completely came. When the rest of the world heard that shot and fired back at their oppressors. And when Nietzsche warned far too late, the monsters need to become an time like this. It all started in an edible complex, fueled nation fire, when the innocent became the scapegoats of a twisted man's army, when cultures were assassinated for no other reason than this they could be, when millions shook in fear of one word, Fuhrer. And it starts again every day. It starts with the death of every new prophet of love, peace, and freedom. King, Lenin, Ruto, the next one yet to be named. It all starts with every unanswered cry for help, every frozen homeless person, every malnourished child, every prisoner unjustly accused, every suicide. It starts with every gunshot, every one too many shots of Jack before driving, every shot of the people giving imitation joy, instant gratification, eventual death. It starts with every time someone ignores words like, no, please, help, stop, help, need, love, help. It starts when owning the green paper hammer becomes more important than using it to build something better. It starts when false information is used as justification for conquering and converting another nation. It all started at the beginning of time. It all started at the beginning of man. It all starts again every single minute of every single day. When, when will it all end? <laughs>